Meghan Markle here. Today is March 24th, 2023. It is 2.04 a.m. I was uh, adding some tweets to the list that I started um, earlier in the day. But um, I just posted uh, this on my community board um, because I have 2,000 subscribers. So I wanted to say thank you. And then, you know, some information regarding PYTE which I reapply and I give some information regarding my backup of a backup channel. So yeah, check my community board on that. And I put the link of all the my other channels and uh, I reapply for PYTE. So let's see what happened if uh, I get accepted because I want to keep this channel <laughs> <laughs> the way it is i don't want it to have any kind of a strike or some sort of uh uh how do you call this demonetized so i want to keep it clean all right so there's my 2001 subscribers and uh oh so more people have seen it because when i was uh taking the screenshot it says 666 and i put the arrow you know saying like i'm laughing about it okay so let's go on twitter and let's get going uh, this I just saw it and I just put it on the list. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it Okay, there was a time when taking selfies with strangers was against the protocol Double standard is discrimination and in Megan Markle's case. It was racism Okay, so this person is taking pictures and all of a sudden he wants to take pictures Okay, he is Okay, they're talking about his uh, looks right now Okay, this is why I say I don't want to, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. If you see what uh, the comments are here, uh, feel free to read it. But let's go on the next uh, tweet. Alright, and this is another tweet I added on this, on the list. I saw it when I turned on the computer before I started uh, recording. There's this one. The UK purveyors of lies are so desperate to have the Sussexes on the unseasoned balcony. They know without the couple, the world will see a group of people who like the Adams family ordered from which unrepresentative of the melanin rich commonwealth. All right, so let's see here. It's a minute and 34 seconds. I didn't hear it. So literally I just added on my, um, on my list. You know, there's, there's the shrunken down family, William and Kate and their kids, but also others and uh, and Harry and Meghan, not their children, I don't. Actually, no, I think their children might be here, I'm not sure. Um, uh, d d is that likely to happen? Well, the King has said he wants it only to be working royals who are doing the, are on the balcony. That's how and he that's, gets rid of Andrew as well. Uh, yes, exactly, because but clearly, you know, Harry and Meghan would dearly love to be seen on the balcony <laughs> because that would add to their relevance and say, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Harry and Meghan would love to be on the balcony. They'll be more than happy to exclude themselves from that nonsense. But what is so good about the balcony though? What's so good about the freaking balcony? I'm telling you, these people over there have nothing of significant to give to people. They're making big deal out of stupidity. Out of stupidity. What the hell is a balcony has anything to do with anything? Does it add anything to somebody? Harry and Meghan already have that, uh, how like that? It factor, the type, the type of things that those royal want to be relevant. They already have that. Being at the balcony is not going to add or remove anything. Because as far as I'm concerned, whoever is following Harry and Meghan, they will always support them a freaking balcony doesn't make a freaking difference what the hell a balcony has to do with anything but let's continue 
Okay, but by the way, you'll be seeing screenshot of this video instead of the uh, video itself because I don't want to deal with YouTube. Every little thing that I post, there's copyright issues. But okay, let's. I move it back slightly. By the way, the balcony because that would add to their relevance and saying, well, look, we are part of this family. But what why do, do they want think? to be there? They despise the royal family as an institution. They think they're all horrible and racist, and they're the cause of all of his mental health problems. <laughs> I'm laughing at them because they raise their own stupid question and then they're talking as if it's Megan and Harry who's responding to their own stupid, you know, to these people's stupidity. Oh my God, it's truly crazy over there. Is it? Is it in the UK or is it in Australia? Ah, uh, wherever they are. I mean, well, they're, that's they're the thing I don't understand. <laughs> well, that's I think a lot of people don't understand. You know, you say there's nothing to understand because th this is your conversation. It's not Harry and Megan's conversation. <laughs> This thing is laughable. It is truly laughable. This is why the derangers always feel repeating those nonsense because they think that it's Harry and Meghan who's saying it. These two create the conversation and then they're making it seem like it's Harry and Meghan who said it. But anyway. One thing, but then you want to do the other. Um, so this is the problem and it's still going on behind the scenes. I, I just wish, you know, you, you know, May's not long away. Make a decision. You know, we in working life had to make decisions. Tell me what's going on. Then I no, they don't need to tell you nothing. Look at this. They, you're still creating nonsense out of nothing. They don't need to tell you shit. You know what the king wants you to know. Forget about Harry and Meghan. Oh my goodness. I know I can plan. The same yeah. with the royal organizers yeah. for I mean, the coronation. As any, as any bride who's organized a wedding, and I know mm. coronation is different, but you know, this is on a huge scale. Not having having the guests that haven't RSVP'd yet, you can't do the seating plan. You know, this is this is horrific. And also, maybe they might want to invite someone else other than. Other well, if you guys were not harassing them and then you know putting all sort of threat on them, maybe they would have answered to everybody, made it public. But you guys are freaking terrorists. Literally terrorist. And you've created it for what? Because you're bored or because it sells your papers or it makes you feel better about your own life. It's real what you're doing. And that's the piece I don't think people fully understand. You are making people want to kill me. It's not just a tabloid. Harassing them, telling people where they're located at, coming at their front step. So why will they feel liberty to tell any of the UK media anything about their, you know, their, their next move? Then that will compromise, you know, whatever it is that they want to do. My goodness. Other than Harry and Meghan, if, if, um, if they're not going to come. Well, if you're reading about it, Prince Albert of Monaco has gone a little early with his RSVP this morning, and that's sort of saying, "Well, we you, we're not quite sure whether you're coming yet." But um, oh, so, uh, but are you uh, on the? No, you're quite posh. Are you on the list? Of course, I'm not. Oh God, these people are ridiculous. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Big Polony, Harry, and Meghan have never said they want to be on that balcony. That's what I'm saying. Okay, he who is not on the list is crying about someone who made the list, not telling anyone not on the list if they are coming. So that he who is not on the list will berate the one who is on the list for not responding sooner to the others, also not on the list. Dude, I'm telling you, these people are crazy. Adam's family ordered from which, lol, <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, they can stop talking about Harry and Meghan. Okay, unseasoned balcony, chill. He <laughs> he, there's that unseasoned balcony. <laughs> okay, Harry and Meghan are the balcony. The focus will be where they are. Perhaps they want to remind them this. Yeah, look at this. They were not even on the balcony. They, you know, trying to squeeze between, when I said they, the photographers who were down there, you know, trying to take pictures of them. Look at Harry and Meghan just playing with the kids. Look at it. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. this little girl has a a very unique kind of uh face not in a bad way or anything there's something about her face is that the one with the curly hair her is that yeah it's her i'm talking about there's something really anyway let me stop talking about the kids 
Yep, look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at this, Harry and Megan playing with the kids. All right, let's read some more and then move on. Whatever is there, that's it. When did Harry or Megan say they despite the royal family? I mean, really? What's the deadline for the response from invited guests? Anyway, it seems the Sussexes are the only invitees that matter. Okay, only British right-wing media create a fake story and then invite a panel to discuss the fake story. That's what I'm saying. Yes, there's the laugh. They know the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are the real superstars of the British monarchy and they screw up big time not protecting Meghan. This is insulting to the Adams family. They simply blend, blend, blend with no charisma. I have zero interest in any of them. The Sussexes, however, there's the heart. And yes, I'm British. Okay, Harry doesn't despise his family. He despise their behavior. A child doesn't stop loving a parent who hurts them, not usually. They just want the bad behavior acknowledged and not repeated and apologized for. It's called growth, self-improvement, admitting, mistake, and healing. And I'm telling you, if Harry and Meghan do go back and then they do whatever procession with the royal family, wherever the tabloid left where when the queen die you, you see the nonsense that was going on it will continue as if nothing happened this is all they want they want something to talk about i don't know but anyway next week now i'm back to the list what i've originally put it rebecca cooks and murdoch she went down there defendants and harry's phone hacking lawsuit there she is here 2022 uh 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 the murdoch is in big trouble in the u.s right now there's this here all right let's read some of the comment holy crap is it me but this girl look just like kid before her facial work like how will kate might have looked like now if she wasn't married to william okay who is she there's that heckle and jacko <laughs> okay that's it i'm glad there wasn't too many comments next tweet okay my original list y'all hide all the files the derangers are on our tails and plan to expose all the lies of the sussex squad and prove that we are in cahoot with at Cibuzi and scoby and ellie hall is anyone else shaking in their boots okay so i don't know what is being said are they which lawsuit is it the the sisters lawsuit uh, the one in florida or whatever is going on in the uk okay let's see here the rangers are coming the rangers are coming the rangers are coming look at that the gif okay i'm so afraid of us <laughs> that's the square my attitude toward the Devengers. bring it okay same threat for seven years <laughs> i like the squad response i for one i'm worried sick how will i sleep okay i want out and immediately hired an attorney my husband the retainer agreement consisted of a home cooked meal and some playtime later on <laughs> my hard files that the squad are in the bank vault in lower manhattan we must protect sibuzi at all costs what is it there's those people i used to listen to during the johnny johnny johnny, johnny depp case and uh well i stopped listening to them so i don't know what's going on with these people but uh they were after the johnny depp case ha was ended um i don't know they just jump on the bandwagon on bazia and uh and uh you know whatever is going on all right let's see here i'm so actually i sort of like this uh this uh, this comment her husband is an attorney so she's gonna hire him and then the reward will be the playtime they do afterward and some cooked meal i like that comment okay i'm so scared okay i'll take the night shift there's this i'm so scared <laughs> the way they respond oh my god i'm so scared all right so there's more the squad are just making fun of it i wish i have seen what uh, they would maybe the tabloid i don't know i don't follow the derangers for me to know okay this is why i share only the squad stuff if they don't put screenshot i have no clue and i have no desire to follow those haters who consistently writing nonsense this i shared on my community board okay k 
King Charles de Coul visit this Sunday is requesting to be postponed or canceled by many deputies. The cells where the state dinner was planned is no more an option due to the bad optics during strikes and living crisis. Bordeaux trips has to be modified because of safety concern. Comma. <laughs> she put that GIF of Princess Diana. Is the garbage strike still on? Yep. So this Friday is in France. So she's the one who be telling who will be telling us what's going on in France. All right, there's this GIF of Princess Diana. Okay, I think the French people are not fond of King Charles. Okay, there's that. There's this. That's in French and French. Uh, thank Marie Antoinette whispers, quote, Do they value their heads? France and monarchy, especially at Vessel, doesn't usually end well. There's the quote here, end quote, and there's the laugh. Well deserved. Okay. Why choose France out of all places for a first visit after what these two have caused to Princess Diana and now her son is beyond ridiculous. I don't know. M maybe they feel like uh, whoever is guiding them, telling them this is the best place to go. Maybe to feel like uh, to walk on uh, Princess Diana's memory in France. I don't know. But uh, I hope the people still uh, do their protest comma i love it that's good that's commercial there's this gif okay so let's move on next tweet there's more but let's move on they have no shame so they don't know any shame okay there's uh celebrity okay king charles advisors are very worried about all of the french protests and strikes all right let me click on it so you guys could read it like i usually do lately from uh, her articles i'm just gonna read the first paragraph okay king charles and queen camilla are at the moment still due to arrive in paris on sunday this trip to france and then germany will be their first state visit as monarchs i didn't know they were gonna go to germany so i hope they see the train there's a a, a tweet that I came across, I think it's on the list, that shows uh, Invictus, they put, uh, where they're promoting Invictus, um, they put, you know, banners on, on, uh, on the train, okay, so I hope he sees that. Okay, the original plan was that Charles and Camilla needed to emphasize the UK historic ties to European countries rather than Commonwealth countries. The visit to France was originally postponed and planned when the British government believed that President Macron was uh, a somewhat popular leader, except that Macron just barely scraped through a vote of uh, no confidence and uh, French, <laughs> it's, better. it's like when you choose the less of the uh, evil, so yeah but anyway but let's continue um the visit to france was originally postponed and planned when the british government believed that president macron was a somewhat popular leader except that macron just barely scraped through a vote of no confidence and french peeps are burning shit down strike refusing to collect trash rioting protesting all of it all because macron is raising the retirement age wow is it okay i do not know okay this is my humble opinion i do not know does the president have the sole uh what do you call this sole authority to do that in the u.s for instance if this were to be done it will have to go to the senate okay the house first and then the senate i believe this is the way okay and then the the senate have to approve it and then the president will have to sign it these three houses okay these three chambers have to be on the same page for it to pass when something is passed in the united states that means all three chambers okay have to be agreed there's some bargaining ch bargaining chips between you know the democrat and republican for the bigger pictures to be you know for some sort of a deal Okay, this is where the check and balance come. So, in France, does the president have the sole authority to do that? That's what I'm, I'm talking about. Okay, all because Macron is raising the retirement age and he's not playing with the union. Basically, Charles is going to arrive into a city where the street full of garbage, fire, and angry French people, the palace courtier are in a, in a tizzy about it. Okay. all right so the rest you could read it oh my god something is in my eye all right so 
it's not that long the li um the link will be in the description so let's read some of the comments there's this okay and potential egg throwing more like they are pissed no one will roll the red carpet out for charles <laughs> I know those people really have something with red carpet because when Harry and Meghan went to Germany to unveil, you know, Germany will be the next host and then they received them on a red with red carpet and everything. The comments that I was reading, those people were pissed because they received Harry and Meghan with red carpet. And I think this is one of the things that caused um, the queen to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> to change the sh uh, the attention but anyway no red carpet for charles the 130 agent of the mobilier national and the carpet of tapestry factories will not roll out the red carpet for charles the third they've won the ministry of culture oh my god that requesting this will be a provocation france manifestation and this Cash strike at the Mobilier National, Charles III deprived of the red carpet. Oh my God. The French are not messing around. Oh my Lord. I have sympathy for his long apprenticeship, but sadly, King Charles III and his advisors appear to be unable to read a room. King Charles III is not the man, and this is not the moment for this royal caravan. Well, that's a shame. I know, I know. It's a damn shame. Okay, ha, ha, ha. I mean, they're so desperate for people to love them. They're forcing themselves on people in the sense that they want people to like them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe the courtiers are sending them there to their doom because the way they've been advising them, it doesn't seem like it's for the monarchy. Okay, maybe he should have selected another date for his state visit. Okay, he has bigger problems on the home front. Okay, or oh, too bad, so sad. LOL, when they come to Germany, I will protest too. I love this for him. <laughs> Tough. Okay, that's it. French, cancel as they should. Keep him there, I tell you. There's this, good. Okay, uh, you don't say it. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next tweet. And it's about King Charles III as well. Oh my god, I'm already 22 minutes. Next one. Chucky's reign appears to be cursed. <laughs> okay, but it just started. That's me here responding. It just started. I bet he's willing to try anything, not my king. Oh my god, whoever did this. Whoever did this Photoshop did pretty good. And the queen. Uh uh uh. There's a laugh. Commercial here. There's this. I like that when somebody. <laughs> okay, perfect GIF. All right, what's happening now? The French people aren't all too thrilled to host him. Okay, there's that. Wanted to contribute to Princess Diana's pick too. There's that. Okay, not curse, comma. There's this. Okay, you think? <laughs> the squad. Okay, after this. Oops, wonder why. They're watching, that's why. That's it. I'm telling you. And then what they did to Harry and Meghan is, it, is even worse. It's adding to their uh, insult to injury. They're watching, that's why. There's that. Next tweet. And I think the queen knew too. The queen knew. Once she's, uh, once she's gone, that's it. Oh my God, my nose is tough. Okay, next tweet. What kind of organization will ask a new employee to be 50% less productive? There's me here, a pretend company. <laughs> okay, the royal family, the squad. This is what I mean. The squad don't need Harry and Meghan to be out there uh, pervading, to be on the spotlight all the time. If they don't have anything significant or, or work to do or just, you know, they're just going around by, about their business or whatever. But there's the squad creating a conversation. Okay? There's the conversation uh, Jodiva started. What kind of an organization will ask a new employee to be 50% less productive? If you don't know, if you are not a squad or you just happen to somewhat know something about the Sussex's treatment and you decide to start following this channel, okay? This is about when Megan was in the UK. They told her to be 50% less of her true self. Been told, been given advice uh, to uh, that it would be best if she could be 50% less wow. than she was. Wow. That was the quote. If she could be 50% less. And wow. I remember hearing that in 2018 and said specifically to her, I don't know how you're going to survive 
being half of yourself. Well, I, th I think it's because she was a hard worker. She was revealing pretty much without purposely doing so. She just went to work. Okay. Doing the cookbook, doing smart work and do all the things she's been doing before she walked into the world family. Okay. To help the charities. So they ask her, no, 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 no. Be 50% less of herself. Okay. So there's the squad responding a pretend company because the royal family are just pretending. Okay. There's another person responded the royal family. Okay. There's that. There's the thinking, you know, all right. A very insecure organization that has only ever been able to muster up 25% or less out of its current owners and lifetime employees. Okay. <laughs> What is it? The 9 to... What did, what did the guy say? The 9 to 12 crews. Yeah, I think there's another factor here too, that Megan is a, is a very professional woman and she's very American in that way. And the, the male-dominated culture of the royal household doesn't like the kind of terms that they would use there, pushy and pushy American. They don't like pushy Americans, meaning that they don't like professional people who work hard. And a lot of the Debbie kind of girls who get to work inside the palace work from about nine to 12 and then take the rest of the day off. That's what I call them. The kind that use its mediocre and basic minimum effort. The only organization where people work from nine to 12. You see, that's the squad who's saying it. The nine to 12 pageant around warming and cutting ribbons. British royal family and royalists, they are enemies of success and hate anyone who actually wants to work and be accountable. A company whose layabout shareholders can't afford to look bad next to a fierce, hardworking American, the one that knows of her greatness and are trying not to expose how mediocre they are. Okay, a mediocre.com company. <laughs> this one is a good one, a mediocre.com company. When I was a teenager, I worked in a factory and they told me I was being too fast. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, the British royal family. As per the tabloids, reports and royal rats, that is a backward trend. Instead of harnessing your potential, reduce to 50% capacity and have a stranded growth. And you see when Megan, when, when Megan uh, went back to the US, you see what happened? Her full potential. And I still think she's not even at her full potential. This is just 80% because Archwell is still in its baby phase. Okay, so once they get everything sorted out exactly where they want to be, it will be skyrocketed. You see, uh, Arch Type, okay, the podcast, Arch Well are doing fantastic. They've been receiving awards and they've been recognized for their hard work for a short period of time, three years. All right, can you imagine that? Okay, once they get their foot really stable, their foundation really stable, and then this car racket and i like to give a shout out to mandala mandana because when megan was pregnant she was the one who took over for megan and i'm sure even though megan was not uh, front and center you know there was consistent coordination and stuff like that all right let's read verse there and then move on one that is built upon smoke and mirrors okay responded kp calling wasn't cutting gathering um calling at hand hand gathering okay i can't see what it really said the royal family apparently but it only applies to the competent mixed race woman okay only in the british royal family a call founding on sexism classism and intrigue only in little britain one that was worried that your efficiency and work ethic may upset lazier less competent worker all right the kind that get paid for doing absolutely nothing that employee was making them look bad okay <laughs> next to it the squad respond this is what i mean the squad don't need this the sussexes to come out to have a conversation thank god the sussexes become what really get us together because when i was seeing the nonsense that megan was going through and my first thought was okay who else see what i saw okay the nonsense that i was seeing on the tabloid because at first when i saw the headlines ah, i brush it off and then each time i keep on checking in to see how my sis was doing it was a consistent and i was like wait a second let me see who else is seeing what i'm seeing 
Okay, so the Sussex is become the hub that bring us together, and then you know we bring our you know thoughts and uh, ideas and uh, our anger and oh, you name it, our conversation into the spotlight together. So we have the discussion. Next tweet. Okay, there's the cry. I can feel Sussexes like I will feel for any parent who lost their babies. This is said, but it brings the couple tightly together like two against the world with the bigotry, sexist, racist media on their backs. We will always support Harry and Meghan no matter what. We love them. Prince Harry talks about the pain of losing his second child. In 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex suffered a miscarriage in America amid tense scrutiny from the media. Sharing his feeling from the day he lost his baby, Harry pens and spare, quote, We left the hospital with our unborn child, a tiny package. We went to a place, a secret place only we knew, under a spreading banyan tree. While Meg wept, I dug a hole with my hands and set the tiny package softly in the ground. Harry and Megan later welcome daughter Lilibet in 2021. When Megan um, posted that, uh, what is it? Uh, what did she call it? I forgot. But go on Pure YTE. I have a video about that when uh, discussing when she lost her baby. I mean, it bring the discussion into play, and uh, people who who had experienced it, you know, share their own. Uh, experience as well like me I share my experience and uh, at one of my videos on pure YTE because I did lost my second child as well all right so and then again there's another squaddy who's bringing a, another conversation to discuss where we don't need Harry and Megan to consistently parading themselves out there to be on the spot like we create our conversation and we discuss it let's see here I will always defend Megan and Harry the good thing is that I'm not alone Sussex defenses are everywhere that's right okay Sussex squad is who we are there's the thumbs up and the trolls can't can eat shit okay I love I love your love for our faith and by the way he's I don't know if that's his real face here he's been letting us know at least some of the tweet that I read of his is that he's been a Megan Markle fan since suit and he'd be telling us uh, if I'm not mistaken I, I could be wrong but I think he was the one who share a screenshot of Megan's uh, uh, is it TIG or his IG uh, account when she had uh, 3,000, oh no, not 3,000, 3 million subscribers. And then uh, he has a, a screenshot of the uh, the Royal Foundation uh, screenshot of IG. And ever since then, I kept that, uh, that screenshot as my receipt. Okay, I think he was the one. So he's been a supporter of Megan a very long time. Me, I knew Megan existed but i wasn't following her okay it's until she married into the royal family i wasn't even following the royal family myself okay both of them harry and megan i was not following them but the thing is that i knew they existed okay but when megan married harry occasionally i took a peek in to see how she was doing because i was happy for her thinking a completely different mindset of what I thought the royal family was but come to find out they are bottom feeders okay once you understand you educate yourself about it about these people you realize they are worse of the worst of a kind in my humble opinion they are into pedophile they are into you know they're not doing much for the amount of money they're receiving not that I'm jealous for it but there's people who suffering who could have used the money that is being spent on them instead of, you know, doing all of this nonsense. But anyway, let's get back to this. So he's a true uh, Megan fan. All right. A true Sussex squad. Okay. I love your love for our faith. There's the thank you. And I like your comments most days. You are one of the popular one because you are smart. That's Joe Diva. Okay. We, we love them indeed. There's that power and strength to a beautiful couple who show their haters around the world that they didn't break them yeah 
uh, why this is beyond heartbreaking there's a heart omg yeah i mean and then later on the same people who were bashing her i think camilla tomney there's a tweet that i came across um uh, i think i'm seeing uh her being uh doing her podcast or radio thing she was explaining uh I could be wrong it may not be her but i'm seeing her face for some reason just in case if i'm wrong it may not be her but one of her haters who consists the, one of the royal rats okay woman royal rats who said that she had a miscarriage as well and then when i came across that particular tweet and i'm like how can i feel sorry for you okay usually people who had a miscarriage people have a sentiment a feeling for their loss Okay, you feel the sadness for the loss. But for her, I could there's no way I could find some sort of a sorrow in my heart for her because she was part of the group who caused Megan to lose her child. The nonsense, unnecessary nonsense cause and pain and grief and suffering where she had to run for her life with her husband and baby, okay, to move out of the UK. So when she was saying, oh, she had her miscarriage and this, I was shocked. And I was like, as a woman, and this is also what got me to look into. That was way before Megan talk about her, um, her, um, loss of, uh, her miscarriage. But that's what got me look into, uh, Sophie as well. Because when Megan was pregnant with Archie, the nonsense that Megan was dealing and then to see no one in the royal family was sticking up for her, not knowing how the UK tabloid worked, but that was the question. My naivety, my, how will I say, my virgin mind of the royal family was thinking. I was like, why no one in the royal family is speaking up against the nonsense that was going on for Megan? Nobody said anything. And then I came to find out that Sophie had a miscarriage. And I was like, wait a second. Is that true? Why will she not speak for Megan? Because if as a woman, you went through some pain of losing a child. And then you see someone else who's pregnant. This is where they're most vulnerable. Why will she not speak, for, you know, to defend her? Then, then I went and look and look and look. I come across Arden Production, which was done by her husband and all of this. But uh, whatever. Let's move on. Next tweet. Okay. I see I put a note here in Victus. Okay. All right. So this I posted on my community board. I had to take screenshot. I think I took two screenshot of this train because it was a moving video. Um where germany is promoting invictus i don't know how they wrote the thing is this september 16 uh 2000 um was it the 9th to the 23 or is it okay 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 i think okay i see how they put it here there's the arrow here 9 to 16 okay N uh, 9 here is the month which is september and then this is the year 2023 okay so this is how they do it because in the u.s you put the month first then the day and then the year so in uh europe they put the days first which is 9 to the 16 on september 2023 okay so now i see here a home for respect okay there's this here let's read the caption oh my word the germans don't do things in halves i can't wait to buy this train Prince Harry is not a toy soldier. That's why they will pull out all the stops for him and the veterans. 171 days to Invictus Dusseldorf. Okay, let's see the train here. It's only seven seconds. Okay, so that was it. And you know what I like about this? We have Su Sussex Squad everywhere. Okay? if it this person oh no no uh, the duchess yeah 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 okay yeah i'm following her all right so we have uh squads everywhere they're letting us know what's happening everywhere in their homes uh, their home turf okay oh it's always wonderful to spot the train in the wild did you know that it'll run on the line going from central station directly to the venue at uh okay 
Mercus Pale Ovina. I don't know if I pronounce it right. I didn't know that, but I will be in and out of that train. Well done, IG Dusseldorf. Okay, there's 12 comments under there. Germans are so extra. Every little thing is so well thought of. From cycling, from the Hague, I can't wait to experience the Invictus game from the distance. Oh my goodness, me too. The squad, I will never stop uh, thanking the Brits squad who travel to the Netherlands to share some of their experience. I really truly appreciate it. It gave me a lot of content for me to share with you. Go on PYTE. All right, I have a lot of stuff regarding the Netherlands uh, and Victors because the squad were sharing a lot. So I truly appreciate that. Okay, uh, they have the best of everything. I know they will make it an uh, experience. We won't forget. Wow, it is going to be exciting. Okay, it sure will. I can't wait. This is very humbling, honestly. The respect for veterans in Germany is just top notch. It's really wonderful that IG has brought such togetherness in the world among veterans and families. I wish I could be there, but this experience, kudos to the Sussexes and the whole team. Don't you worry, my darling. I will make sure your experience the games as if you are there oh perfect so i i'm already following her so we will know whatever she share i will share with you guys okay remember please i truly recommend like i said at the beginning subscribe to both channels pyte and this channel and my backup channel because i say a lot of things youtube don't like me too much so they will demonetize my channels in a heartbeat okay so if you want to follow me whichever channel is not demonetized that's where i'm gonna go okay so consider all three channels as one okay they just have different names okay because once one is demonetized or monetized i'm gonna post them but my truly main channel is pyte because i have a lot of stuff there and this channel that you will be seeing it is just a backup and if this channel and PYTE are both demonetized, I'm going to start putting more stuff on my backup of a backup, which I don't have that much going on. So I need to start putting things there, more videos up there because uh, to generate it so more people could subscribe and I could have the views so YouTube will uh, monetize it for me. Okay. Uh, service. Okay. That's in French. The 9th of September. Okay. Will it be, uh, will it be stream? Yes, it will. Oh where i'm not sure about that okay i can't wait to hear the cheers from them it would oh the the invictus they have their own thing hmm i'm surprised i'm expecting okay i don't know if it's true this is my humble opinion uh the one in netherland was recorded did they ever put it somewhere or uh, on netflix or one of those stream services i'm just wondering okay it will be loud heard all the way in the uk all right the side said the home for respect it speaks volume yeah it, it says it in, in, uh, in english as well okay it sure does last year it was enough for the palace to see this and and betty is gone <laughs> go back around that time i have all of these on my pyte because I truly believe this is what got Betty be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. My suspicion is very, my antenna is very high when it comes to these people's behavior. Because when they saw this, the crowd came out. The red carpet was rolled out for them. They did not like it. And then Betty was gone. <laughs> they took Betty out of commission to bring the the focus back to them now look at this betty is gone they bury her and everything look at this they went back to square on <laughs> meaning that the the squad still supporting harry and megan and then the left behind warriors are still being disliked by majority of the world remember it's not all they still have their racist supporters okay but it went back to square one no matter how they disrupt they try to disrupt the flow of the sussexes their true supporters will still remain okay but anyway let me try to finish with this okay last year it was enough for the palace to see this and betty is gone there's a laugh i don't want to imagine what will happen by september when will it start okay so there's that it's going to be on i 
it's going to be on IG to remember. Okay. Okay. And Victor's game. Okay. I take it. Y'all will be front and center again this year. Good lady. I would love to go to the games. Yes. I am part of the press team. Oh, okay. Press of team. Uh, so you will experience the event as if you are in Germany. Okay. That's good. Was I not so following her? Um, when they were in the Netherlands. Huh? Okay. So now I'm following her. So good to know. Okay. Since the excitement is building, there's that. Okay. Yes. So, okay. After this, that's it. The Germans do not do anything half ass. Love working with them. Quite possibly the most intelligent and open culture. Not shy about discussing any topic I've ever met. Yeah. Look at when you look what happened to the history with the Holocaust and all of that. Yeah. They went straight to it. And then don't get me wrong there are still some of these racists back there they are still there but the majority of them still they hit the topic heads on they go after those uh who did uh, who really messed up their history regarding the holocaust they punish them and all of that bring them to trial and all of that and i spoke about on pure yte there's a video completely different from the Sussexes where I spoke about this black German who was living in Germany prior to Hitler come to power and then she was expla explaining her experience when she was living in, uh, in Germany all right so go watch that uh, that video okay okay I am hoping to go to Germany for the Invictus game this year crossing fingers I love their vibes and I want to be part of it there's the clap just wow there's this wow okay so let's move on i have invictus again i'm gonna keep on recording and if i pass more than an hour i'll divide the video into two okay there'll be part one and part two all right this is the u the uk squaddy that i've been following since um the invictus she was sharing a lot okay they they went as a group i remember the experience if you follow me on my channel and you're watching this channel you could correct me or not they went as a group one member of the group okay forgot either her id or her passport so some of the group went and the other one left uh went back to pick up her id whatever she left behind and then it was a nightmare to experience but she made it whoever it was within the group because that's what i remember reading in one of the street but uh she went and um share a lot of things She's the one that I was talking about that share a lot of the Netherlands and Victor's game. So I'm very proud. Um, you know, I truly respect her for sharing her experience and then which helped me to create content for you. Who's not on Twitter to see. Okay. So it's a teamwork. This is why I don't want to go on Patreon for you to w pay to watch my content. It really icks me in a way where I don't want you to uh, pay to watch my thing. And this is why I, I, I'm creating backup of backup channels because uh, YouTube don't like the kind of things that I'm sharing because they don't want people to know. I think and that, this is just my humble opinion. But um, when I go back to PYTE, hopefully they open my subscription. I don't want to start all over again. But PYTE, this is where I have my subscription. There's no string attached. If you want to be a subscriber, uh, a pay member, okay, it's just for your own good heart you want to do. Other than that, there's not going to be anything special. Occasionally, I will put some stuff for members only, but um, don't expect any special, okay, special videos because I want every squaddies to see my content. All right, salute to Brigadier General Alfred Mostella, the brain behind IG23. He told me last year that IG23 and Dusseldorf will blow our socks off. That train is just the beginning, okay? So she saw the train as well. All right, so there's that. Okay, right. I think they have to work really hard to outshine the IG20, the Hague. I think they're the top notch so far. However, with how they welcome Harry and Megan last year, I have faith. Yep, I love IG and the Hague, but Dusseldorf will be much better. And I have to show respect for the Netherlands. They did their best. Remember, it was supposed to be for the 2020, but because of the pandemic and stuff like that, um, they have to keep on postponing it. Okay. 
And then let's not forget as well, even though it was still open, you know, the pandemic was still there. People were still being careful. Okay. Uh, there's that look like he was ready to risk. <laughs> he looked like he was ready to risk things. Okay. Don't start. LOL. Look how he's looking at her. <laughs> Okay, this is why Harry wanted to take his baby with him. If you watch my last video, where you know some of the conversation where they didn't want to fund the royal family, did not want to help Harry, um, you know, start the Invictus and all of that, he had to use his own money to uh, make the Invictus reality and all of that. So, this is Harry's baby, he's passionate about it, all right, he really cares about that. <clears throat> There's that. Don't start. LOL. Okay. You are looking good, Duchess. Thank you, sis. Definitely checking out the queen. Brigadier was admiring Bassa Squaddy's t-shirt. I was telling him about Harry and Meghan's global supporters. Okay, wild girl. No wonder the derangers are bursting vessels because of you. Okay, I'm really looking forward to IG23 and Dusseldorf. I'm hoping for time off so I can make it to Dusseldorf. Okay, they, are, they ain't seen nothing yet love your smile lady thank you and you know i like her vibe okay she's enjoying herself she work hard she play hard what was it she shared with us not in full detail whatever little snapshot she shared with us you know enjoy her free time go on vacation and all of that this is what i like about you know this is part of living you should not be sitting every day thinking of how to hate somebody every day my goodness, she was enjoying her time and uh, going vacation. And there's some pictures she sh um, she share. Uh, I didn't share this because I thought that was a bit too personal. It, it wasn't too much about the Sussexes, so I didn't share it. Where she dressed in her, uh, how do they call this? Her native or African attire or something like that. They have a term for it, but I can't think of it. Next to it. <laughs> privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.